Where's this missing chapter anyway? Yes, I found rice, simply rice that's cooked, then dried, nothing added, but convenience. It's brilliant, five minute rice. Just chugging down a beetroot first. Really feeling like a total king right now with the ripe bananas, sugar, oats, in this lovely space. <gasps> Bed dive. I even got this new gas cam. We went and got that. Ding ding. All these little adventures like going to buy the gas can, checking into the hotel, buying the Taco Bell, asking random questions on the live stream like what's your top five favorite camping items. Interactive live streaming time. So it's always fun to tune into the live stream because we never know what's going to happen. I've even discovered lion's mane mushroom for the first ever time. Amazing health benefits to this. Look it up. I'm in a hotel. We haven't really filmed that part. It all kind of happened so quickly on the live stream. I was just passing by this place and was like, hey, I wonder how much they cost. And they did me 50 bucks cash. Didn't have to add the tax. And I've got myself set up with loads of greens. It's not as if I've never had the idea, like, oh, you contact the news. <laughs> uh, maybe they cover the local news story of the place you're running through. It's not like I never thought of that. The same as, it's not as if I've never thought, oh, I should contact these other YouTubers. I've had the same ideas you've had. It's the execution of the idea, the actual doing the task, sending the email, making the phone call, getting no answer, no answer, no answer, no answer, no answer that I've come to be like, ugh, this is annoying, and I don't feel good about it. And if I don't feel good about something, I just don't do it. So that's where we're at now. Oh, hi there. Check out my beans. <laughs> Black beans, white rice, no oil, no grease, no cheese, no fat, no nothing. In collar green wraps, this is like my favorite thing. They're solid enough that they will hold, you know, they're, um, yeah, they're strong. They won't just fall apart. Lettuce wraps, kind of okay, but they, they fall apart pretty quickly. Look at this. I very rarely buy, like, fancy stuff. I call it fancy. It's like, it's not much calories for your money. Of course, they're good for you. Um, stuff like blueberries, strawberries. All of these are being given away by the avocado shack. So I stocked up, I bought these. I've got an avocado there, more bananas there. They were even dishing out all this kale. They were just throwing it out because it's old. It's just incredible. I basically locked myself in Lockdown, editor lockdown, getting so much done, so many videos, 
multiple videos a day, they're getting scheduled ahead, so I'm catching up and then I can run ahead. But I'm just thrilled about this, I just wanted to show you my fruity corner. I can barely find the words to explain how exciting this is. I got oats with sugar, I got all these blueberries, I'm gonna mix strawberries, blueberries, and banana. This is such a thrill, this is like, I'm just so super stoked about it. Okay, I've put banana in there, I'm putting strawberry in there. Chop the strawberries with a spoon. Strawberries, synchronistic coincidence. Oh, this is already just looking incredible. People say eating raw is expensive to buy all that fruit. But if you go to the right places at the right time, and you know the right people, you can eat raw for free. I added sugar to the oats as well. Sugary sweet oats with blueberries, strawberries, bananas. So exciting to me, like, it's so, so simple. I'm so easily pleased. Look at it, yes. I'm making another one. I'm having multiple cans. If I had a bowl big enough, I'd be stirring up a big, horse trough size bowl right now. Hi. How is your knee? Is your knee oh. pretty much up or just back and forth? Or yeah. Or? No, it's totally been fine. Um, I did the whole of the Big Sur and it didn't hurt at all. So 150 something miles and it's okay. So that's that means it's healed as far as I'm concerned. Um, Very cool. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was the shoes. Like, that's the culprit. You know, the motive. The uh, if it, if I was a detective, I'd be looking for like what changed, and it was the shoes got really low, and then as soon as I changed shoes, it went away. Cool. Are we having any luck with any PR firms or anybody trying to maybe need to get some more exposure, man? We gotta get you up there somehow. I'm trying to figure. Uh, last time I talked to them, they were trying to find somebody that had. They've just kind of said, oh, we haven't really come up with anything yet. It seems just kind of a bit of a dead end. I mean, the response about anything to do with Forrest Gump was, oh, that's been done before. Some other people have run around and said that they're doing like Forrest Gump. And I said, well, that's not the main story. I mean, there's so many other angles you can put on it. Still trying to figure out how we can meet some of those, uh, those big YouTubers, uh, how to reach out to them. Uh, I, I got to get with my guys more and see if they know it, you know. They're probably not big on the YouTube, you know, as much as I watch them. You know, all the influencers and all these big, uh, big name people. Um, yeah, no, it's difficult because they just mostly don't answer. It's been my experience because they're so busy. They probably don't even see the message or if they do, um, you know, they might mean to come back to it or have good intentions, but it doesn't quite happen. I think my best chance is to ask someone who knows someone who knows someone, you know, like go through some contacts they've already made. Um, like the, oh, I met you. Really? Somebody goes, hey, you want to be on so That's kind of, you know. Right. I got to go through go between where they go, man, you got to meet this guy. It's getting interesting. Which, when they told me what you were doing, I'm going, yeah, sure, come on over. Repetitively yeah. being kind of ignored or rejected or it's going, you know, the, the increase in fans and subscribers and whatever going so slowly. I've kind of become... What's the word? Skeptical, you know, and I'm kind of like, ah, I don't think it's really going to happen, but I'm going to keep running anyway. But you always I, seem like to think it's going to happen. <laughs> if I can give you any advice, stick in there. It's called tenacity. There are so many times I wanted to give up, and I just kept pushing and pushing. And then once in a while, you get this thing that's called momentum. You just get a lucky break. Right. And all of a sudden, things just start taking off for you. Beating you made me better.
People I'm are happy. Happy, putting your little thing up between two trees. You're, <laughs> you're getting your you know, and you're like, you're happy. It's, it's like shit. Sometimes less is more. Fucking Steph can go all day running. I could certainly, with a belt on, I could certainly get my ass off there. <laughs> but I just think it so much it just manifests after a while. Uh, maybe think in your head. The manifestation starts thinking. Oh, I'm, I'm going to get on a TV show or a news station or something. They're going to get That's... me, and it's going to just blow up. I know you just kind of when I make things happen, I think about something constantly, and then finally it just happens. Because when you meet people, you win them over. That's my point. You got to get through all the crap to get to the right people just to hear your story. In person, it's the best. If you can meet the people, that's the best because I can see how people react to you once they meet you. Yeah, I find that way easier in person. I think that should be my um, my main approach. I see your potential so much. If I was doing my crew, I was like, okay, how do we get this guy more, you know? So I'm not sure of their work, how much is their workload over there, but how do you build the momentum before you get to LA? That's what I'm seeing right now. I'm reading, I've got your, um, this scroll you gave me, and I've got it here in front of me, and um, I've been reading it, and it's weird. Of course, I've heard of synchronicity before, but it's like the more I read it, the more frequent it seems to happen. You know, these different people I meet along the way and these, di you know, the strangest things, like I might be thinking to call someone and then there they are calling me. Um, but a lot of the language is difficult to read. I like, get it. I, I think I get it, but I don't really know what it is. It looks well old. <laughs> like, where did you get it from? Sure, it's not so much when you got it, but when. Well, like what book is what book is it? What's the name of the book? Like this is chapter one, I guess. Like there must be other pages. Where's the rest of the book? <laughs> the rest of the book? That's where you come in. Oh, uh, what do you mean? I'm part of your story, apparently. I had a chance to read copies up to chapter eight. What I gave you is only original copy. So can you explain like the other chapters to me? So, are you telling me this is the like an, the only original copy in English? It must be like well expensive or super rare or something. Yeah, it's priceless. What did you give it to me for then? <laughs> I've had it rolled up in my pocket for since Hawaii, just running around like it would be a lot safer with you, man. I feel like I don't know, put it in your safe or keep it safe, like. <laughs> you don't want to trust me with it. I don't even know what it was. Yeah. Uh, I see something in you, Seth. You are the best chance at finding the missing chapters tonight. Oh, no, no. I, no, forget about that. I don't know if I even, you know, I really believe this stuff. In my mind, all I want to do is just go to Hawaii, run around a bit. That's it. And it where's this missing chapter anyway? Yeah. Now, the reason I built this Stargate and these things I'm doing here is to meet amazing people. And I'm looking at this journey here. You're part of the journey. I meant here to do something, to inspire, but I need other people to inspire me. When I see you, you're out cruising the world. I'm here in my little here building my utopia where it's drawing people like you to me. It's, mm -hmm. it's drawing you in for us to collaborate on something. And I think something special in you when I see you. I said, man, this guy is on a journey. You're doing something that can project to the masses. I'm here, but people, I'm going to meet the right people and then work relationships with them. And that's what I see in you. Is that I want you to build this relationship. I see something in you that... Um, Very few people in the world would do what you're doing. You know, who put the 
journey. And it just gets cooler and cooler. We're writing our own movie, our own script here. Yeah. And we're thinking, uh, uh, that's what's exciting to me. <laughs> <laughs> I it's can hear it. To see your journey, because, um, you know, my, my stuff is starting to come together now. I have my ups and downs, but yours is just really starting the momentum. That's what I'm excited for you is, where's this going to lead for you? Because <laughs> I believe we're here to change the planet, change the world, show people a different way of living, uh, uniting people into oneness. You know, so uh, a lot of cool stuff happening here. Okay. Yeah. Yes, yeah, it's, it's definitely a some kind of a fate thing. <laughs> It is. it is. Uh, like they say, there's still part of the book that still needs to be found. One more scroll, the ninth. Maybe you're going to help me find that. We're going to find that together. I don't know. Uh, the journey continues. Um, you never, uh, before you go, you never told me though, what, what's the name of the book? What's it called? Hello? Nick? Oh. How am I supposed to find a chapter to a book? I don't know what the book's called. <laughs> what a legend. I love Nick. He's amazing. So this is an original... I thought it looks well old. It's an original translation... of something about synchronicity <laughs> he said it's priceless basically um, we're all looking for more fulfillment in our lives and we won't put any we won't it's difficult to read because it's got this like real old it's handwritten I can see it is it's handwritten clearly completely battered and bruised um, Thick like parchment paper. We're all looking for more fulfillment in our lives and we won't put up with anything that seems to bring us down. That's this tagline at the top. Chapter one, critical mass. A new spiritual awakening is occurring in human culture, an awakening brought about by critical mass of individuals who experience their lives as a spiritual unfolding, a journey in which we are all led forward by mysterious coincidence. Noticing synchronicity. Synchronicity is the entry point, the measure of whether we're connected spiritually. These meaningful coincidences are tiny miracles steering us toward the good life. They are always seeking first to awaken us and then to allow us to be guided by a spiritual connection. I, I've read it a few times. I don't really get what it is. I feel like my synchronicities have increased the more I've been aware of it. But I didn't really know what it was. So I was like, what is that thing you gave me? Um, tiny miracles steering us towards a good life. They're always, they're always seeking first to awaken us oh the tiny miracle okay so the tiny miracles awakening us then allow us to be guided by a spiritual connection to the unfolding of our intended destiny staying in a state of alert expectation this is the bit i like concerning the major questions of our lives yeah i've had this increased alertness recently i feel like thanks to this the key to increasing your awareness of synchronicity is to practice each morning terminaling what does that say something yourself not reminding yourself yeah i think it just says reminding something in yourself that it exists <laughs> right just to know that it exists is a step in the right direction and then immediately begin to look for its appearance in your life. Synchronicity 
usually operates in a sequence. Ah. First, your identify an intuitive thought. Oh, it's so difficult to read. Or something it's difficult for, or hunch. I think it says hunch. A hunch that suggests a course of action that will move your life forward. Okay, that makes sense. I always used to joke, you know it's the voice when the voice tells you what to do, but it doesn't tell you what's next. <laughs> That's how you know it's the voice. Use the force. Don't be too introspective. Just be aware of the thoughts that come to you and seem necessary to pursue. So don't overthink it too hard. In turn, giving you just the information and clarity you need. That's what I mean about the voice. You just get the voice. It tells you what to do, but it doesn't tell you what's next. Giving you the first information and clarity. I think it's clarity. You need at the moment to move forwards. The rest of the steps or something. The next clue. The next synchronicity. The universe is designed to help you but you have to pay attention <laughs> wow the universe is designed to help you but you have to pay attention look not from the mind but from the soul for the life that is coming is already before us Waiting to open up the world. Waiting to open up the world. Just look more closely. Find the eyes to see. I don't know why he thinks this is a good idea to trust me with this only original copy. I'm going to keep it a lot more safe now. I literally had it just in my pocket in, in here where I keep... This is just a plastic bag. It was once had rice in it, brown rice. And I keep my Taco Bell napkins. It's basically, I've been keeping this with my toilet paper. <laughs> and I've also got my map in case I ever get lost. I can always follow this map. <laughs> Should probably put it somewhere more safe than that. I don't know what he means about, I've got to find the other chap. I don't know. I don't know about that. To leave and to leave in mystery. In penguins we trust. <laughs> Okie dokie. It's time to get out of here. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Monkeys. My name is Seb. This is the Cam Boom. This is Seb Cam. Checking out of this little private number here. Stayed for a few days. Got a good deal. Paid in cash. I'm very happy, I enjoyed it. Look! It's pretty nasty, but happy to say, it doesn't really itch too bad. Like, it looks worse than it feels now. It was way more itchy when it was way less scabby, if that makes any sense. Alright, I got it. I picked up everything. Some of this stuff I'm going to open. I don't really need it. I can mail it to LA. My knee seems to be healed now. I think thanks to the new shoes and the Sun Warrior collagen, those building blocks have repaired my knee just fine. I'm not in any pain after 100 miles later, so I don't want to carry too much stuff. I'm happy to carry Wilson. Wilson! I was considering bouncing him the whole way <laughs> to LA, but I don't know if I'm really going to do that. I wish I had my knife. All I've got is my little key. So well done, Zach, keeping these safe. Yeah, these pegs are really handy when I need to peg the hammock in. Sometimes I need to climb in the bushes, but it's not very easy to get in there, so I cut a few branches to get in. You can make space for the hammock. And then this knife, which is super small, but super tough. It's a Gerber, it's like $50. and. Um, it can chop wood. I can literally like hack up wood with this little knife. Very awesome little kit. Cleared my box out. 
all this is just trash. The only thing I'm going to mail to LA is my bug net and my uh, laser light leg thing. Don't think I'll be needing those. So back in we go. I feel like we're almost there. This is almost it. I feel kind of sad, like, oh. It's gonna be 120 miles, 118, it said, to Santa Barbara. That's gonna be my next kind of obvious pit stop. So I can only see this taking a couple of weeks. Maybe three weeks if I go slow, edit the videos, take a little pit stop somewhere, but it's not long. I hope we get our t-shirts printed in time and we'll have our juice do it piece of fruit Sebgam TV Hollywood signs shirts let's get the printing done but roughly three weeks from today I'm gonna guess it see the calendar middle of eight middle of May April May yeah, May 15th-ish, middle of May. Oh. Oh. Can I go through if I'm on foot, do you think? Then do not enter without your hat. Uh. Looking at the map, there's not very many good ways around. Aha. Uh -huh. There is a way around. There's an off-road trail. This is a memory magic now. Create, inspire and don't get all and don't judge the people and our friends fire. How do you define being free? Doing what you love. we get to Polo Loco it's on this road it's like a fancy Taco Bell <laughs> I reckon we're halfway there already got the live stream on hi having a good time Hey, Lisa's is here, Asif is here, Alex is here. What's up everybody? And look behind me in the screen there, bars. If you see a bar, do pull ups. It's a rule of mine. Although look how high these bars are. I don't know what's going on with that. They're pretty high. I don't think I can even get up there. <laughs> Woo -hoo! It's the fruit gang. It's the fruit gang. The Stevenator's there. Jambo's there. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> yes. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> That's a pretty cool fire hydrant electric box doggy thing. I like that. We've got the people here. 
people live inside the camera. What up? And we're walking down to the Polo Loco Fancy Pants restaurant. Yeah, Polo Loco. We got the wraps. Wiggity wiggity whack. It's a bean and rice wrap. My cunning plan is eat these wraps. Then we're gonna go Olive Garden and have unlimited salad. I've had so much help in the live stream here from Leslie, Lise, Raw Vegan Sensi, everybody giving me ideas. We got broccoli and zucchini, vinegar, but not oil, because oil is just pure fat. So we won't be adding any of that. Capellini Pomodoro. Is that a hot thing? <laughs> Not hot apparently, I reckon they might be just pranking me and it's gonna be horrible. Can't eat it with two forks. Just chop it and chop it and chop it and chop it until it's like much more dense, less air. Cheers. I don't know what Leslie was replying to, but she just said, pickles. <laughs> Woohoo! Down the hatch. that look look at it it's amazing and thank you oh yeah i was gonna say could i please that. get more tomatoes on it yeah do you want extra yeah i can do that okay wow this is so cool yeah lisa and leslie have helped me so much the waitresses who live inside the camera i was just gonna get the unlimited salad but they pointed out if you buy the meal you get the unlimited salad anyway so we've gone gluten free on the pasta and extra broccoli. It's amazing. Gluten-free, high raw, high plant food, alkaline meals. Yeah, how romantic. Pour the main meal on the salad. <laughs> it really tastes um, like spaghetti bolognese. Like, I guess like you'd expect spaghetti sauce, but without the dead cows in it. If you didn't know any better, you'd think that's spaghetti bolognese flavor. Not have to be concerned about the bill. I pay the bill and then I can eat whatever I want. Leslie having to hide being on seb date from the hubby. Husband, wait a minute. What was all that one in a million talk? Ding, ding, round three. So you're telling me there's a chance. Yeah! Pretty posh, isn't it? Tonight, take an exclusive behind-the-scenes look at everyone's favorite TV series. Seb Cows! <laughs> yeah! If you're sort of struggling, get a wet cloth and shove it up your own backside. Just try and clean it up a little bit. Happy days, you're in a good place. At the same time, filming yourself on an iPhone or something, and I'll look through every single one of those pictures. There's been some great stuff sent in. There's boobies. What more do you want? You got boobies? Nothing. Uh, I quite like to look at the bottom. Fat ones, thin ones, big ones, uh, male, female. Hopefully you guys are going to be sending in your breasts and we'll continually be looking at cracking tips.